Hey guys, what is up? Back with another video. We're gonna work on good old scooters again. Sorry about the lighting. Um, our extension cord actually broke. We have no way of getting power back here, so the lighting's gonna be shit. But um, my last few videos, the audio's been crap too, so I'm gonna try to talk as little as possible and I'll try to do some time lapse stuff. Um, got a new haircut, shaved. I look 14 now, so we're doing great. All right, so last time we were here, we couldn't get this nut off, but I have successfully gotten it off. Um, it took me and my dad with like two gigantic incorrect pliers and shit to get it off. So we finally got it off. We had to use this thing as a cheater bar and we barely could, could break it free. Um, this is just taped on right now because um, underneath this is the bearing and without this here then I just risk losing the balls and you never want to lose your balls kid kid single kid you never want to lose your balls kids never lose your balls it's bad so um, that's off and this should just kind of pull out oh it's it's attached to the brake still probably should get that All right, um, we're gonna let that soak a little bit before I strip these, because if I strip those, that would really suck. I'm gonna set you up on tearing apart the front of this scooter. Uh, this thing was zip tied on, and you can see why. Um, probably can't with the lighting, but this peg, which is part of the body here, you can see the one here. Loosey goosey. Um, they either crashed it and tried pulling it out or just yanked on it or something, but I'm gonna attempt to fix these. I don't know how fixable it actually is, but I'll probably try super gluing it or epoxying it or something. Time lapse continue. All right, it's off. Uh, so same deal, I need to get the wheel off, which I don't remember the size is. Um, they're different years, they might even be different. Cause I saw a video and it was a different size than what I used over there, now that I can't remember what fucking size it was. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm doing that.
That was a lot faster than the last one. That's for shit sure. Okay, so I got the caliper off, but just not in the way that I thought I would get it off. So, it appears that, um, there's no way this is locked to the slides. I believe that's what these are called. So, it just kind of pulls off. And it did the exact same thing over here, too. I guess the, um, it only, no, it pushes from both sides. No, it only has one piston on one side. So it just pushes from one side, and that pushes itself into the um, rotor itself so that it doesn't actually need anything that keeps it in place. I don't know if that's smart or stupid, but it is what it is. So, ta-da, got this thing out. Let's get a good look of it. Somewhere bright. <clears throat> you can see like just how tweaked it is maybe. Oh yeah. You can just see how twisted it is. I don't see where it's twisted though. But that's that's twisted alright. Oh there's a lower bearing race too. Shit. Well, I hope I don't lose those balls. As I said, kids, don't lose your balls. Um, my next order of business is swapping the shocks themselves, which I don't really know how to get them out. These are, you know, finger loose. I guess I have to take this off, and I don't have this size Allen key. I don't know, I don't know what size it is, so it's interesting stuff there. I might only be making this video not a very long video, um, just because I don't really have too much to do right now if I need to get parts if I need someone to help me to do something I mean I still need to get it registered which if it was registered would definitely encourage me a bit more to work on it but you know as it stands right now got this bitch out and this is gonna go into the other one the black one so the black one will just be twisted forever I believe this part that is twisted is called it's either like a triple tree or a triangle tree, something like that. I don't know if you can get just this as a replacement or not. Um, I gotta figure out what size that is too. So I got both of them out, which um, was good. The black scooter was actually finger tight, which is not good, but whatever, I got it out. Here we go, both of them here. I got both of the uh, forks right here. Let's get a little uh, comparison. Here's the twisted one. You can see how twisted that is, Jesus. It's bad. And here is the non-twisted one. Wow, that is so much better. But, interestingly, it uses different fasteners. This uses like a Allen, and this uses like a hex head. So, interestingly, completely different fasteners. So, I think that's the end of this one. Um, got both of those off. I don't have, I mean, I probably have the correct hex head to get the, 
I guess it would kind of be the top hat to, to get the hat off of the um, shocks for this one right here. I definitely, definitely can find one for that, but I do not have an Allen key that size. So I definitely have to go get an Allen key. Then I can swap the two. The shocks on the blue one were way better in way nicer condition. They look newer. I think they are newer. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna swap those two. And then I guess I put the front ends back together and then that's basically it. Once I got the blue one apart once, it was way quicker to get it done. So that's where I am with that. Still need to do the tail lights. Haven't done that yet. Still need to do the rear wheel. I'll do that. But yeah, got these out. It just makes me so happy. But what makes me not so happy, and I hate this lighting, <laughs> just having like two scooters with no front just sitting there like, oh God, these poor scooters. Yeah, and this one, I don't have anything to keep it up. So it'll just fall to the ground if it wants. That one, I got something under it at least. Thank you everyone for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to like the video. Um, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. I'm going to keep doing this. I've said it in every other video. I'm also going to be working on the bus and the Mustang, or I'll have videos on it at least. Maybe it won't be me working on it, but there'll be bus and Mustang videos coming out, lemon stuff. Um, yeah, I'm really happy where I'm going with this. Um, it looks like I'll be able to ride it pretty soon, pretty legitimately. So I got a pretty good deal so far. I haven't had to buy really any parts yet so i hope to keep it that way so again thank you all for watching catch you in the next one